yeah, so first impressions, you know, obviously very impressive, Farley, the training grounds, you know, I've not seen anything like it, not heard of anything like it in the Premiership, so straight away, you know, it's excellent coming here, top class facilities, you know, so that's sort of um, great to see first and foremost, and yeah, knew a few of the boys before I came here, so I'm still on here in a minute, but, you know, it's good to catch up with a few of the ones you play against, you know, in the past, and yeah, everyone's made me feel welcome, um, so yeah, really enjoying it. Yeah. I think um, for me, I think exactly the same. Like you know, Farley House is just you know it's incredible. Um, you know, in the countryside, yeah, there's everything. You know, the facilities unbelievable, the gyms un you know unbelievable, the foods unbelievable. Like three three meals a day, that's brilliant. Um, and I just you know all the boys as well have made me feel welcome. If like made us feel welcome, and that's you know that's all we could ask. It's brilliant. Cheers. Probably number eight, because then I, I might actually get the ball and carry it, but that's about it, like, yeah. Yeah, I think probably for me, fly off. You know, I can be a bit bossy sometimes. I like to be the star of the show, so <laughs> probably fit in a bit better, yeah, so fly off. I think for me personally, you can't go wrong with Drake. Seems to be pretty universal. You know, obviously in the change room, you've got boys with a lot of different tastes in there, so you've got to cater to all the needs. I think Drake seems to be one that sort of goes down fairly well. Not too hardcore. <laughs> I think with, with me, it definitely has to be Proclaimers 500 miles, I think. So, big fan. <laughs> <laughs> For me, if it's not, if it's not uh, rowing, it's probably um, on working on my own farm. So, working on the family farm gives, gives me a bit of sanity and reality. So, eating <laughs> is that past time? I would count that as past time. Yeah. yeah, I think that's 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 a great. Answer. I like, yeah. I like you. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my first training session actually, um, and yeah, I just remember being miles offside, screaming for the fly off to kick it down to me because I was at the other end. I didn't quite figure out the offside rule by then. You know, I thought it was a bit of American football, so yeah, that's the first memory. And then someone explained the offside rule to me, and then I sort of got the hang of it a bit. I think uh, mine, mine was just like Sunday, Sunday rugby at my, at my, my first club at Sherbourne. Um, you know, just every, you know, the coaches wanted us always to, to do something and all we wanted to do was have a, a wrestle, you know, like, and we never actually completed training, I don't think, but no, it's good fun, so. Uh, definitely a farmer, I think, yeah. That, I think that, that would be already a chosen, chosen thing for me, I think. Yeah, I think, <clears throat> for me, probably something in business. I think I sort of lean towards that world a bit, you know, like, like the deals, so something like that. <laughs> I'll let you go first. So. I reckon 25, 25-19 to England. I score it. Um, I'm gonna go a bit lower than that, it's always a close, close knit affair, so I'm gonna say 17-15 England. <laughs> <laughs>